So how would be very clear to get an evaluation process? What would be the first step? How many evaluation methods do we have? Four. Do you have your exam? No? Did I get it back? I got the cash flow, now, now what do I do? Now I got next year's cash flow. What do I do with that? Divide by the discount rate. Excellent. And what is the discount rate? Uh, 0.12. Okay. And what do we get as the valuation for the perpetuity? 11.50. What is it? 11.50. Okay. And how about board and grow? What do we do now? Fill out the cash flow again. We already got it. Divide by the discount rate minus the growth rate. Okay, and what's the growth rate? 0.02. Which gives us 0.1. Which gives us 1,380. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so now we got the Gordon growth. Let's do the multiple. Multiple is going to be a little bit more challenging. So the multiple approach. And what's the equation for the multiple? Do we already have the cash flow? Yeah. some kind of multiple is going to give us the value. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, give me some uh, methods of calculating the multiple. According to growth, perpetuity. Okay, show me, uh, tell me, walk me through the equation. One over I. Okay, which is, in this case is what? One over what? Uh, one over two. Okay, and what's the multiple? Yeah. What does that give us? Can you run the calculation and give me the multiple? 8.3. 23, so 8 times. Okay. What's another way I can calculate a multiple? Okay. Line growth. Line growth. Uh, can you walk me through the equation? 1 over i minus g. 1 over i minus g, which is 0.1, which is gives us 10. Right. So now we got 8 and 10. Now I want to check, uh, uh, calculate a multiple uh, another way. I want to take the, what's the cost of construction? Let's take last year's cash flow first to get a, a multiple. And what was last year's cash flow? 125. So what does that give us as a multiple? Another way of getting a multiple is you take the value, or the price, and you divide it by last year's cash flow, and you do it by next year's cash flow to get kind of a range of multiples. This gives us 10. Then we use 138. Nine. Yeah, nine. So if I was going to do a sensitivities of multiples, what would be the three ranges? What would be the three sensitivities? Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Ten, nine, and eight. So which multiple do we use? Which one do you want to use? Nine. In the valuation process. So what's nine times 138? Twelve forty-two. A little bit. Twelve forty-two. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the multiple valuation. Are they all coming in fairly close to each other? Yeah. So we know where that we're on a, you know, they're not huge dispersed valuations. They're basically coming in next to each other. So that's validation of the valuation. 
that you're coming up with is reasonable. Now let's do the DCF. So what do we have to do to do the, this kind of cash flow? structure. You imagine that I'm new to the board. I don't have a lot of experience in finance. Um, you're walking me through your underwriting process where you're taking an investment, investment committee member through it or we're working in a team and doing a, a brainstorming underwriting uh, process. So we're all working together collaboratively to, to work through the, the valuation process. So walk me through how we structure the, uh, the DCF. Walk me through the process. PD equal. Okay. So the goal is to calculate the PD. Now what do we do? Uh, you go to cash flow out one year, which is 138. Okay. Walk, walk, just walk me through the structure. Do I take it out five years? Yeah. Yep. What's the whole thing, Jerry? Terminal value, how do we get that? And then what do we do with the terminal value? Add it back. Add that one. And what do we get? 1424. Uh, 1424. Yeah. And then now what do we need to do? We need to do the discount factors. 1.2 to the 1. Point one two to the fourth. One point six. Are you guys uh, correcting this, making sure? Uh, one point one two to the fifth. Divided by 1.4. 111. And what is 149 uh, divided by 1.3? 115. What is it? 115. Thank you. And what is 138 divided by 1.12? 123. 123. And what's 123 plus 115 plus 111 plus 99 plus 791? <coughs> 
Position price? Cost. 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 Yeah. And what's that? Accept or reject? Reject. My client really wants this. Our client really wants this deal. So, in iteration two, what do we do? <coughs> Reduce the cost of construction. Maybe uh, renegotiate the price of the land, renegotiate the utilities, renegotiate the construction costs, re re renegotiate the general contractors and the subs to see how we can get the uh, <coughs> price of the cost down. Uh, what do we need to get the uh, cost down by? 11 million. To make this thing work. Is how much? 11 million. Okay, so we need a cost reduction of 11 million. If we can get the cost reduction of 11 million, what does the NPD turn out to be? Zero. 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 We accept or reject. Accept. Okay. Uh, bad news. We can't get the price reduction. We can't get the cost down. So we got to go to iteration three. What do we do on the third iteration? The assumptions. Review the assumptions. Okay. Can you give me some assumptions? What assumptions do we go back and audit? Cash flow. Growth. Uh, cash flow levels. Uh, the growth in the cash flows. Uh, yeah, the uh, discount rate, which could be the expected return. Could it also be the weighted average cost of capital? Yeah. Yep. So it could also be the WAC. If it's the WAC, what are some of the other assumptions in the WAC calculation? The debt. Cost of, yeah, the cost of the debt. Cost of equity. Cost of the equity. The expected market return. Uh, excellent. Uh, so on, we have the uh, return on the market, expectation, and the cost of what model do we use for the cost of the equity? Cap M. So what other? Risk-free rate. Yeah, maybe we messed up on the risk-free rate. Risk premium. Risk free, the risk premiums. Beta. Beta. Okay, excellent. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, excellent. Okay. Terminal value. So what are the two variables, the terminal value where we could have made a mistake? Uh, growth rate. Uh, yeah, the growth rate. And what else? Discount. The discount rate. Okay. Anything else? Cash flow, maybe the growth. The and we did that. Okay. We did that here, and we did the travel a growth rate too. So we got both growth rates. Okay. So we went back and we audited everything. I got bad news. Uh, we did everything right. We underwrote it correctly. Uh, client really, really wants this deal. What, what is the last thing that we can do? Yeah, you can calculate real call option. Uh, what's the what's the value of the real call option need to be to calculate the uh, net net present value? Eleven million. To be Eleven million. And if the real call option is eleven million, what's the net net present value? Yeah. And if the uh, net net present value is positive because the real call option is higher than the negative NPV, we accept or reject it. Accept it. And then if the real call option value is less than the negative NPV, we would reject it. Nice job. What do we have, like four minutes? <laughs> 